Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. Taming the Widowmaker seems to be kind of a, a clickbaity title, but if you search on YouTube, you'll see that this, uh, this simple looking tool has quite the reputation for maiming and killing anybody that doesn't show it the, you know, the utmost respect. Uh, for people that, that don't know, these are what they call spring compressors. And whenever you need to change uh, a suspension strut or a spring, these are used. Actually, they are so dangerous that if the coil is the part being replaced, a lot of guys will actually use a torch on this to take out the tension and destroy essentially the old spring in order to only use these things the one time. And they're very simple in operation. And one of them goes on this side and one of them goes on this side. And then you use the bolts here and you compress the spring. And this allows you to then unbolt and remove the strut out from inside of this. And one of the, uh, the biggest dangers with this is something that's rather aptly called death wander. And that's where one of the pieces here migrates from one side of the spring as it's being tensioned to the other side or when it gets bumped and it, it shifts it from one side and that puts all the pressure then on one and it kind of instantly bows and snaps the spring and sends it violently sort of launching and if that hits your head or it pinches something it can cause some some pretty catastrophic injuries and my father-in-law does all his own motorcycle maintenance and repairs and he asked me if there was a way to potentially make this a bit more safe well challenge accepted and what i've done here is to make a jacket that goes on the top of this so this jacket goes around the outside of everything and essentially it's entirely to prevent um, this sort of death wander thing that you can get going on. Or if you were to accidentally bump and dislodge one of these, um, which would then bend the spring and then launch the spring potentially and cause an injury. This one here is designed to go on the spring for a Kawasaki. But the design in theory could be adapted to fit with with any kind of spring using these types of spring compressors so before we start actually using this thing uh, we're going to take it down to the motorcycle shop and see what they think of it and get some advice on it and there's going to be a follow-up to this video to show these in use and installing a new coil onto a kawasaki shock uh, if you've got any input into this, um, if you've done this, if you've, if you've caused yourself an injury using one of these things, uh, love to hear from you. Um, we can certainly change the design and do different things, uh, depending on what people think. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the, the High Voltage channel. And uh, yeah, see you on the next video. Cheers.